He's top left of the screen in the blue trunks trim with yellow. And our opponent, Carlo Ramos Samora. Mainly boxed between super feather and lightweight. There's a shade over 130 pounds yesterday, but she is a handful. No frills. Walks through a lot of opponent's shots. She will take two to give three or four. And we know she's good over the longer distance. Don't blink. <laughs> Don't blink, you two. I've been a friend and fan of Bia Ferreira for probably four or five years now, so I've, I've watched her closely over the years. She's very, very talented. What, in your opinion, Sky, makes her special from what you saw in the amateurs? What does she do well? She's extremely aggressive, um, loves to be in a tear-up, and she's very powerful, very strong, explosive, and picks her shots very well. Yeah, she's got a wish early here because Ramos Samora will meet her in a tear-up, but already there's some blood pouring from the nose of the Mexican. I mean, that Kamara fight earlier on this year, Kamara was a far better technical boxer than, than she, and naturally the bigger fighter as well, real athlete, and she was boxing, trying to turn her, stick and move. But she just got caught with a chopping right hand in the fourth round, it buckled her legs, and she put the shots together behind it. She threw something like 23 or 24 punches, landed 20, brilliant accuracy, and real ferocity too, to shut down the show. I think the level that Kamara has, has boxed at, a real sign of intent from women who lost something like eight or nine of her first 13 contests in the early days. And she is pressing Ferreira here, walking onto shots, but walking through them and letting her hands go. This is what she does. What a fight. So brave, so game, Samora. But Ferreira, she's an absolute, she's a beast. Well, she really is. She's already ruthless. Bloodied and battered the face of. Oh, there's Amora who, well, she's, she's asked for it, hasn't she? She's walked into everything. Wow, what a start. Hi, what's up? Hi. 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 But we knew what they were both going to do, Darren. They, they did exactly that, and we got the, the first round that we hoped for. Just, just yeah, exactly what we expect. I'm like, I, honestly, that that's so impressive from both there. Zamora, obviously, she doesn't have nowhere near the pedigree that Ferreira has. But Ferreira, she's an animal. She really is. I mean, when she's letting those shots go at ringside here, they look so hurtful. I can't tell seconds. you, honestly. I mean, look, I, I am going to get carried away here. I, I mean, I don't think she's far off the big guns in the division already. Second I mean, look, I don't know what Delphine Pursoon's doing at the minute, but I, I love that fight. I love that Honestly, fight. I don't want to get too carried away, right? Well, actually, I am. I am getting too carried away. <laughs> She's, I, I'm a big fan. She's incredible. That was a hell of a scrap, isn't it? Intent in every shot. Yeah. So four comes to Moore again. Just walks onto a big, solid left hook. Blood pouring from the nose at the end of that first round. Can she continue to take that kind of damage? Question mark over Ferreira, of course, will be at this kind of pace. How will her engine fare over the eight-round distance? Remember as well, did you say 91 wins out of 100 fights in the amateurs? That's what that's what's on box rec, yeah. I mean, how look, you know yourself, Scott, how quickly those fights can go by. And it, sometimes they can be so close that you can easily, you know, lose a few here and there. To get a record like that shows how good and what she's achieved in the amateur game. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. It shows what a talent she is. An amateur record like that is very, very rare, yeah. especially in the women's. You're fighting the same girls over and over again, and you're not always going to get those wins. They're going to work you out. They're going to they're try something different every time you get in the ring with them. Slings the right hand in off the left hook, but Samora responds as she always does, just winging the shots in. Just uh, on the switch, looking for the, the looping left hand. Just taking a moment to try and get a distance from Southall. Switches back to, to Orthodox now. I mean, I'm getting extremely carried away because I want a nice away day to Brazil. That's what, that's what I'm hoping for. But honestly, an exceptional fight. I like Zamora. I knew when this fight was made.
how tough that game Jamor is, but it's a lovely Pereira, front foot, back foot. And it's that intent with every single shot. So explosive, it really is. Deep breath, though. It's been a high pace so far. And you've got to remember, she is still doing the amateurs as well, so it's that pace change, being, going from 3-3s three to 8-2s. To it's different. It's, it's, it's a different pace, and it's, it's hard to keep going back and forth between the two, as I learned at that amateur camp recently, like we talked yeah. about earlier. Yeah. This, well, this, is, this is not far off kind of three-round pace, is it, for, for her? And we know that Zamora's tough. We know she can keep pressing this pace. I'd like to see be it maybe change the pace and the power a little bit not loading up on every single shot but maybe looking for a little bit more velocity as well on us 10 seconds well she's taken plenty isn't she these first couple of rounds Second round, round three yes, please, yes, please. And Ferreira hasn't been able to put a dent in her so far into the third we go eight scheduled Lovely body work from Ferreira there. Five or six, rip into each flank, chops the right hand down. Zamora just bouncing off her. It's crude, but she's so busy, so eager to fire back. You could just hear Zamora grunt a little bit then when she, she got hit to the body as well. I think those shots probably hurt her. Oh, just chops the right hand down the middle. And then the uppercut. Yeah, brilliant variation there. Head, body, lovely uppercut right through the guard of Zamora. <laughs> Ferreira is just stepping off now and just, well, she's just used that hook to spin off, give herself a little bit of space, maybe just thinking about the, the distance of the fight that she sensed that she's not going to be able to put an early dent in. Zamora, she needs to, to try and step off and box and wait for her opportunity. Scooping shots to the body. The timing of those shots. Well, you can hear them as well, ringside. They're just bouncing off, off of Ramos Zamora's skull. Bouncing with real force as well, but she just doesn't seem to. She's a, a long, a long lost cousin of Joe Joyce because she's hitting her with everything she's got for her. We know she, we know that she can punch too. The head movement from Rama Samora is well, it could be better, but she doesn't seem to to care. She's happy to just walk through those shots to try and get her own off. And for her, well, she's in complete control here, but she is being made to work really hard. Well, five more rounds of this kind of pace, Darren. If Zamora stays here, and if she keeps throwing, and if she keeps making Ferreira work, that's the only chance she's got here, yeah. isn't it? We'll find out a lot about Ferreira if this pace does remain. I mean, we've seen some really good work there. I mean, credit to Zamora. She's had a nightmare in that first round, getting her nose busted and... It's hard enough as it is when you're in there with someone so well scored and someone so explosive. You see the damage there, but the variation of the shot, the intent of every shot from Ferreira has been so impressive. I'd like to see the faint a little bit more from Ferreira. I think she could draw out the lead of Zamora, who's looking to trade every time Ferreira throws a shot. But, I mean, you've got to take your hat off to the Mexican for that. So, so typically Mexican, isn't she? Just hard as nails and looking to get stuck in but there's only one winner in those exchanges i agree darren i'd like to see a few more feints just set up some of those attacks i think maybe instead of looking for that one hollywood shot it'll come off more of a flow because i think at the moment zamara's kind of seeing these shots coming and she can brace herself for them a little bit more well, she's really sinking these in the right and then that big left hook around the side of the guard Oh, body shots sinking in with that left hand as well. Hear them and feel them ringside. Zamora just walks through them again. Blood starting to pour from that nose once more. She's a proper hard case, Zamora. Like that, I mean, Unbelievable. she really is. To be fair, 
most of the women fighters are. There's not many you see at that top level that aren't tough like this. No. And the ones where there's maybe lack in skill, they make up for in toughness. Yeah, we saw uh, Ulyssa Guzman against Ramla Ali a couple of weeks ago, and I think Ali really had her in the skills department, but just the heavy hands, the toughness of her, she stayed there and found a massive left hook to, to end the fight. And they are built just differently in South America. Yeah, you know, I felt for Rumbler in that fight a little bit. I feel like there's so much pressure on the girls that they, they have to entertain and they... They are entertaining here. It's Ferreira just letting the hands go. Willing herself, pushing some more of that. She trades wow. with her. What a end to the wow. round. Oh, man, there was a couple of left hooks in there that went in. I thought, wow. Tony Valley ringside looks absolutely <laughs> gosh, man. <laughs> wow, what a fight. What Not a fight. Awesome. Well, we knew, we knew. When I see this one on paper and I've done my research on Zamora, I knew what Ferreira was all about. I knew this wouldn't disappoint. I mean, hats off to Ferreira. She's so tough. Like I say, she's a hard case. Oh. She's in there. She is taking some bums, but... This, this, like I said, I keep using the word intent. She doesn't hold back on the shots. I'd like to see her change up the, the speed and the power a little bit at times for her. She can be predictable, like you said, Sky, but when she's in full flow and she's sitting down on those shots, as we see here at the end of the round, I mean, it is eye-catching. You know, I'm look, I'm watching the oh, fight through seconds. my hands. I tell you what, I'll, I'll take I'll take Delphine Pursuit versus either of these. <laughs> yeah. I'll take a sort of triple threat match, I think. Seconds out, round five. 30 rounds later, they'll still be scrapping. But we've got four to go here. Amazingly. Zamora misses with her jab, just gets her head snapped back with sharp lead hand of Ferreira. Looks for that right, just falls over the front foot for a moment. Won't be long till they start trading. Left hook from the Olympic silver medalist. chest because that right hand that she chops down with Ferreira is such a dangerous shot. I'll tell you what, after the last couple of fights, Carla Ramos Samora can expect precisely zero invites from some of the world's top prospects. They will not want this kind of work. Left hook again from Ferreira sinks it right into the body, then the right hand. I agree with you there, Chris. I mean, if you're watching this and you're a manager matchmaker for your charge and you're seeing Zamora, I mean... Unless you want to get them beaten. <laughs> then, yeah. Then or you want an absolute out-and-out -out war. You want to see uh, a test of character. You want to see what your fight is made of. You just don't go near Zamora. I'll tell you, you what, seeing, what's the point? Yeah, we're seeing what Ferreira is made of right now. We know the credentials that she's brought into the pro game, but we are seeing how she's handling this kind of pressure through five. She's handled it brilliantly, too. Turning through those hooks the body into head. Leads with the uppercut. Another round in the books as we head into the six. Nós temos que jogar ela, ó. Nós vamos até sentindo os ganchos embaixo. Vamos parar ela. Respira. Só recupera. De novo, começa os primeiros 20 segundos recuperando e vai crescendo. O jab tá pegando todos. Entra com esse jab com a perna e machuca ela embaixo com os dois lados que ela tá sentindo. Na curta, termina a cruzão de esquerda que tá pegando. Temos que parar ela assim, tá? She's really a fighter, Darren, where if you haven't put the road work in, if your conditioning's not on point, if you haven't sparred when you're supposed to have sparred, you will get found out oh, by her. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's, a, she's a distance fighter. She'll take you into those trenches late. I think as soon as she would have seen that this, or when she was asked this to be an eight-rounder, she would have been all over that. Yeah, that's, that's my territory. 
She is hard as nails. And it still could be. Three rounds to go here. Ferreira well clear on the cards now. Very unlikely that Dara Zamora is going to win this on points, but she could still drag her into unknown territory with this kind of pressure if she can sustain it. Well, these are, that's exactly right. These are new territories for, for Beatrice Ferreira. She hasn't been here before. Uh, her third pro fight, the, first one fin yeah. the second one finished early, so... Um, yeah, it's these only are, been about two or three rounds so far, yeah. Yeah, these are these are new territories for Beatrice, and it's going to be a good test for her because this girl is tough. And there were some big, deep breaths in that blue corner in the break. So as the, the pace caught up with Ferreira... Five harder rounds than she's had in, in the first two contests combined. She's sinking those shots in again. And psychologically, what is it like to sink your best shots in over and over and over and watch them just bounce off, off the head, sink into the body and have almost nothing by way of, of visual effect. Of course, there's blood pouring from the nose of Zamora, but she just walks through with that poker face and looks to let her shots go, almost totally ignorant of what's coming back at her. I love that she keeps changing from the, the body to the head. She's getting Zamora to cover up down low, and then she's coming back up with those vicious hooks up top. Yeah, just sinking the uppercut and then the left hook into the body just trying to hold away over a front foot now get some real leverage in they just lift the chin up with the right hand i'd love to know what the instructions have been in zamora's corner what what they want from her because she's doing things at times i think that you're crazy and doing that like exchanging left hooks with ferreira but if you've got a chin and, and yeah. resistance like she has you can sort of do whatever you want really it's not, it's not skills that's going to win her the day, but her durability, her will, her conditioning, and her toughness is absolutely unbelievable. She just marches back to her corner. A absolute machine. <laughs> absolute machine. It takes quite a lot to surprise us. We do this for a living. We see a lot of fights. And sometimes you just, even looking ringside, yeah. sort of Eddie Hearn and Tony Belli and Frank Smith, just open mouth than what, what they're, they're seeing so far. And I think, I think for her, even given everything she's seen, Sky, she would be surprised with everything she's hit her with in this contest so far. The way she's turning the knuckles over on all of these shots, sinking things into the body. And there's, there's just no reaction whatsoever from her. The referee was starting to have a closer look, I thought, um, towards the end of that round, but she, she came back with two shots of her own right at the end there, and I think that... You should see that right hand, the chop, you should see the head, the movement of the head when that right hand landed. It just shows you how hard Ferreira punches, but how hard of a fighter, of a person, Zamora is. Taking those shots. Seconds out, round seven. I'll never forget, Darren, when we were at fight count, and I did, the name of the fighter evades me, but Andy Lee said, he said, do you know when Homer Simpson became a boxer? <laughs> yeah, I do. Just the punch resistance from, from the gods, and she's got it in spades here, and she's pressing again as we head into round number seven. Ferreira has really worked hard for this. She's well in control in terms of the, the points and the cards, but my goodness me, she is just being made to work every second of every round so far. That right uppercut, left hook every single time. <laughs> I think she's thrown that uppercut hook about 10 times already in 45 seconds. And every time you wait for a reaction from Zamora, it just doesn't come. Left it to the body. She felt that one, Zamora. There was a yeah, little grimace. She's... That left to the body. She's showing the pain now. She's gritting. Gritting her teeth hard. Well, some woman, 50 seconds on the clock in round number seven. She marches forward again. Start, starting to just look a little laboured in her work for the first time in the contest. Just pushing that right hand out, but she lands it two or three times. Ferreira holding her feet now. Again finds that left hook, but no, it's kind of irrelevant now. It's just point scoring stuff, isn't it, really? But she's turning everything she has through these shots. Still, still more just chips away at her. Unbelievable. So disheartening when you hit them with your best shots and they're still there all night. Another left there, you see. Is that maybe a right to the body? Yeah, like shovel uppercut through the middle. 
misses with the right hand, lands the left hook on the belt. And again, without any hesitation in their strides more, just marches back to her corner with a round to go. Well, I don't speak her language, but I'm pretty sure she just checked that it was definitely the last round she was going into. Because she's been in control, but she knows she's had to work for every moment in this. Oh, Zamora, breathing pretty deeply. Doesn't look hurt, doesn't look ruffled, doesn't look phased. And always when you see a fighter out of the blue with a result like she had against Jess Kamara, you think to yourself, was it a fluke? But I think what we've seen tonight, over the fight four or five times, she probably wins most of them. And Jess Kamara is a really, really good fighter. Second down. Remember when Sylvester Vest and Salango bet to the court there fighting Ivan Drago, and Drago says to his corner that he's not humor, he's a lump of iron. I think it was something similar yeah. said. That, was, from that was almost certainly what it was, yeah. Translation, Darren Barker. You should invoice for that. <laughs> Straight chopping combinations for Ferreira to start the round. Works the body well. Tomorrow, just a little early signs of fatigue in round number seven. Again, she just wills herself forward. It's crude, but it's so effective. It's only been Ferreira's brilliance, the timing, and that elite amateur scoring that has put her a step ahead. Many would have wilted under this kind of pressure, and it is a, a victory if she gets there in this next minute and 20 that is not to be underrated here. Especially over the eight round distance, which she hasn't navigated before, let alone at any kind of pace like this. And well, I want to assess the, the potential championship quality and the transition that a top amateur is making into the pros. This is a really, really good signal that Ferreira, as you said earlier, could be right in the mix at the top end before we know it. Yeah, that, that's been the importance of this eight rounds and, uh, and the completion of the eight rounds because you're only a couple of rounds off, you're there, they're about to, I think they could probably, you, you know, you, you're probably only one or two fights away, I think, personally, with, with the skills she's got now with this eight rounds in the bag. Huge box ticks for Ferreira and her team. But Zamora, again, just, I'm, I'm in awe of her willingness, that her, her desire to keep throwing shots, her toughness, incredible stuff. Uh, the variation from Ferreira as well has been so impressive. You can say, you know, she has variation, she has every shot in her arsenal, but it's the way she throws them, the accuracy of the shot, the way she's finishing now. Yeah, she is just on the ropes for the first time in the contest as Ferreira really putting the shots together, battered and bruised and bloody Zamora back to her corner. Ferreira finished that really, really strong. Look at the face of Zamora. Just showing you, she, you know, she, she's tried absolutely everything there to, to upset this young prospect. But, I say young prospect, 30 years old, but novice as a professional, but He's an absolute beating there. Constantly sinking those body shots in. At some point, you'd think they were paid dividends. And only really, Sky, the last Chris. couple of minutes as she started to look a little bit tired. The long-standing argument still stands. Do you think that would have been stopped if they were three-minute rounds? I don't know that it would, to be honest. I just don't know that Zamora... I just think the two rounds on, one round off, it's enough recovery yeah. time for the girls and that's why we're not seeing as many stoppages yeah, and not enough time when you've got somebody hurt to put your foot down you hurt someone after a minute 20 minute 30 then only got half a minute left yeah yeah they, they've got enough time to survive and then they've got that whole minute to recover again do you feel there's a bit of momentum gathering we hear it asked all the time what would be your opinion on three minute rounds but do you feel there's a genuine movement gathering is discussed in, in female fighter circles i think potentially even if it was 10 threes for, for, for world championship distance not even 12 threes but 10 threes and and i understand that the the, the talent pool it's probably not got the depth earlier on but for championship fights i think i think we could definitely start seeing it move that way well, we did see her uh, in her debut as i mentioned earlier ferreira boxed uh, four three minute rounds in the was like the ohio boxing commission I don't think it went, I think it only went one or two, but she's clearly a, a proponent of it. No, I think that one actually went the distance. Is that her first contest? Yeah, it did, you're right. 
Right, we're hearing the uh, results are in. David Dimante is standing by, so let's get the result. After eight rounds of action here in Sheffield, England, we go to referee Michael Alexander's scorecard. It reads 80 to 72 for your winner. She's still undefeated, Beatrice, the Beast Ferreira.